Hello everybody, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. I'm recording this on April 4th, 2012, and picking up where we left off in the last episode, where what we were doing was refact or factoring out a Save As dialog class from the application frame class. And you know, I was I was thinking about it over the break. I think this may be the only time or the first time I've done an extract class refactoring on camera, so or uh, in this series. So cool. Um, and as you can see, it's really important to take it very slow so uh, or because mistakes happen and it stops working and you need to be able to fix that. So what you've been seeing in the last episode and probably in this one as well is me taking really small steps, running the tests a lot. And that, by the way, is why we have the tests. It's not so your code is perfect because it's not, especially if you're me. It's not even so your code's bug free, although it does help. The purpose of the tests, a big part of the purpose of the tests, is to allow you to do these sorts of refactorings really confidently. Because if you can't refactor your code, you can't improve the design. If you can't improve the design, you end up with a big, ugly mess. So that's why testing is so important. Uh, and the only way I know of to get really good tests is to do test-driven development. And thus, here we are. So um, where were we? I think we've got all the methods moved over that we need to have moved over. Let me just double check that. We're keeping this one for now, but we'll move that in a moment. Let's rename this to show modally. How about show modal? Or just show. Oh, it looks like I've already got a show. Okay. Well, I'll call it display modally. Um, now, now that I've got that class, and this does need to be deleted, I need to make the test class. Oh, and I think I'd call it, yeah, that's not the right pattern. Let's try it that way. Okay, uh, so we'll need to move our tests over. What's, what's I got to do here? All right, so let's try moving our first test over. It's going to be a bit tricky. Let's start out this way with this one. And I chose this because I thought it would be simple. And maybe it will be. So we're going to need a I'm not sure if this is going to work. So I'm doing it slow. Oh, and we need a mock model. And what is that mock model? It's just an application model spy. It would help if I spell that right. And we'll need it to know that it's the application model spy. All right. 
Fingers crossed. Okay, that worked. Good. Let's make it fail. Perfect. Okay. So that confirms that this test is working properly, in my mind anyway. So I'm pretty good about that. Uh, so now we can go back down here. And that was the do nothing when cancel button's pushed. We can get rid of that. Now we need it to tell it to save when the save button's pushed. So let's go ahead and bring that one over. Okay, that's good. And now, what do we have left? The save as, oh, wrong, wrong class. Um, save as menu item should so save as dog. The menu is application frames problem. At some point, we might actually factor out the window menu or something like that as its own class, but we're not going to do that yet. So that we want to keep doing its own thing. But this handle exceptions gracefully, that's the next thing for us to pull over. Oh, and we'll need to pull over the uh, invoke and wait for. And I'm just going to copy that for now, but we will need to eliminate the duplication. Maybe we can just make that a class with invoke and wait for as a static. That could be interesting. Hmm. I don't know about that. But at any rate... Oh, and we'll need to bring over the warning dialog that is unique to this code. Usually I like to take smaller steps, but this was kind of a big one. If it doesn't work, I'll undo and we'll try again with smaller steps. And then here, we're going to want a new dialog with the exception throwing model. And no window parent. Null is, is a valid. Uh, you can pass in null to when you create a dialog, so it's not so bad that I'm passing null in there. Okay, this may not work, though. Yeah, that might not end up working. Yeah, doesn't look like it's working. So rather than passing in null, let's pass in a dummy frame and a dummy frame.
Still not working. That's the same issue that was causing us the problem before. And I'm assuming that it's because we can't find it, that we don't have any own windows here. Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on here. want to do to it? I think I want to dispose it. All right, let's see what happens. Still no warning dialog. Hmm. Okay, I've got to stop hacking now and actually think about this carefully. So we're not seeing a warning dialog. There's so many reasons we could not be seeing a warning dialog. Now we know this code used to work. So maybe what we need to do is back up and do it a little more slowly. Yeah, let's do that. So, oh, I'm in the wrong class. Okay, so we've got our should handle save exceptions gracefully test back. Oh, I've got a compiler. So I'm going to take out all the stuff I put in here to try to make that one test work. there. All our tests should still be working. We should still be testing that we're showing a message dialog. Oh, we're not. Eh. Um... No, because we're calling this one. Yeah, we're calling that one. Okay, so we got a little bit of work to do here still. But we're getting closer. At least now we've got everything working again. We know our test is running. It's testing the right thing. But now we need to get this test running against save as dialog and uh, that might be a bit tricky but uh, that's all the time we have for this episode so that's what we'll work on next time thanks for watching everybody i will see you then